Big trouble for Tiger Woods, the legendary golfer, arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence in Jupiter, Florida, early yesterday morning. He was later released. Woods released a statement of following his arrest, saying in part, quote, I understand the severity of what I did, and I take full responsibility for my actions. I want the public to know that alcohol was not involved. What happened was an unexpected reaction to prescribed medications. I didn't realize the mix of medications had affected me so strongly. I would like to apologize with all my heart to my family, friends, and fans. I expect more from myself, too. I will do everything in my power to ensure this never happens again. Joining me now is sportscaster and Fox News sports analyst Jim Gray. Jim, how much does this hurt Tiger's career and his sponsorship deals? Well, I'm sure it will have a very negative impact uh, on his career, the perception with the fans. He was just trying to begin to recover from the 2009 scandal of all the extramarital affairs. Uh, in terms of his sponsors, I'm sure they will take a close look at this, uh, and depending upon the course of action that he takes, if he needs to go into rehabilitation and so forth. But uh, obviously a very sad time uh, for golf fans, and uh, uh, you really can't feel sorry for Tiger Woods. Uh, he has to be accountable for his actions, but uh, he sure did give an awful lot to golf. Jim, do you think, and we should point out, Tiger's major sponsors include Nike, TaylorMade Golf, Rolex. Nike stood by Tiger after the incident and all of the revelations about his private life that happened on Thanksgiving back in 2009. But does Tiger have a shot, Jim, at actually coming back and playing golf and playing golf well, just coming off his fourth back surgery? Well, he had already announced with this spinal fusion that he just had that he probably wasn't going to be able to play for the rest of the year. So that was problematic in the first place. Uh, he's only played twice this year, missed the cut at Farmers in San Diego, withdrew after one round in Dubai. So he's not coming back this year. He will have not won a major championship since 2008 down at Torrey Pines. Mm -hmm. uh, he's only played 19 tournaments since 2014. So his golf career as it is right now really is, is virtually non-existent. Uh, can he come back? Sure. Uh, will he come back and ever be what he was? Uh, there's no way. You know, I, I feel that, or we all know, that Tiger Woods had such an impact on the game of golf. He made it more popular. He brought it to the people. And without him, there's been sort of a void in the celebrity within the popularity. We're seeing a lot of golf clubs having trouble and struggling. Do you think that, I mean, how, how does golf even make a rebound after we have sort of this vacuum of celebrity there? Well, golf will be just fine. Uh, golf has survived the retirement of Arnold Palmer, of Ben Hogan. Uh, you can go all the way back. Uh, Bobby Jones, Jack Nicklaus, uh, Lee Trevino, very popular golfers, Tom Watson. Tiger Woods did raise the entire level of the sport of golf, and he did it for 10 or 15 years when he dominated the game. Uh, he was a very popular figure, and he, he is perhaps, he won't be statistically the greatest golfer ever, but perhaps at least for this era, he is the best golfer to have played in this era. But golf will survive. Rory McIlroy, mm -hmm. uh, Jordan Spieth, Jason Day. There are an awful lot of young players right now. Dustin Johnson. Will they capture the imagination of the public like Tiger Woods? Probably not. Tiger Woods was a once-in-a-lifetime type of golfer. He was a Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali type of person. Mm -hmm. But from where he was to where he is, uh, it's really tragic. Can I be a contrarian on the... Uh on the whole endorsement thing. It seems to me that the companies that endorse him are not endorsing him because he's a, still a great golfer. His golf game fell apart after his marriage and his life fell apart and became exposed. So it's a, it's a nostalgia for what he represented to the game. And they are going to want to believe that this was just uh, pain medications for the back surgery uh, and that even if he was drinking it pales in comparison to the previous hits that he took on his character uh, it you know lots of people drink at three in the morning and and we all have one-offs you know so I, I don't see where the, that withdraws his support f uh, that to a point that causes his endorsers to need to walk away from him. He seems to me to have moved into a different category now. But yep. what, where am I wrong in that analysis? Yeah, Jim Gray, final word. Well, they may not walk away from him because they have so much money tied into him. But that doesn't mean he'll be effective as an endorser going forward. I mean. 
yes, he can recover. He is not the first guy who will have been through this, and he won't be the first guy to be able to recover and live a decent life and make major contributions. The question is, mm -hmm. is will he effectively be able to sell any of the things that he is trying to peddle to the public at this point, coming off now, his second infraction, and, and right. uh, it, it just doesn't bode well. I'm sure they will stick behind him because they have all this money tied into him. Right. Jim, great to see you. Great analysis. As but will always. you buy any of those products? What will you do? Uh, you know what? I'd buy them, but <laughs> not because of be Tiger Woods, right? I would buy them not because of Tiger Woods. Golf gear, Nike, sure, but it's not because Tiger is a spokesman. Jim, good to see you.